welcome back. We're here with Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. And Brian, there mm -hmm. was uh, a lot more rain than I had expected this afternoon. That makes two of us, <laughs> because high pressure's in charge. We thought, okay, yeah, we'll get one or two of those little pippers, uh, little sea breeze showers that'll pop, but nothing serious. Come on. Mm -hmm. Take a look, and you can see it's all over now. But 78 degrees overnight tonight, we ended up with anywhere from half an inch to an inch of rain in the mid valley as a result of the earlier sea breeze activity. It's all done now. 78, 6 a.m., 86, 8 a.m., and humid. So when you send them off to school in the morning, make sure you send them with a bottle of water. 100 degrees in the afternoon. That is the valley average high temperature forecast for tomorrow and it's going to feel a lot hotter than that uh, 100 at west Laco, yeah 103 at la jolla 102 mccallum in the middle and you can just basically expect the slightest little itty bitty chance for a, another sea breeze shower to pop up with an east wind in the afternoon but overall it's just going to be a good hot day as we run on through the day uh, i don't know why that said thursday but anyway let's go ahead and talk about what we face tomorrow which is Monday and we have the opportunity for that east wind to blow on in and as it does it just bulldozes its way you know the sun heats the land and that air rises something has to fill the void so the cool air comes in from the Gulf and as I point out it just shoves its way into the warm moist air and that tends to fi can fire up some showers and thunder showers if everything's just right and today everything was pretty much almost right almost but it worked now look at high pressure in charge. This is the thing. This is what's going to make it as hot as the blazes this upcoming week because we're going to be underneath that dome of high pressure. Uh, forecast temperatures, I told you, 101, 102 into the midweek, 101, 100 lasting throughout the week with the heat index 110 plus. I wouldn't be surprised to see heat advisories in effect for one or more days, certainly this upcoming week. And it's all about the humidity. You know, the 100 degrees, if you're in the desert, not so bad. But when you, throw, when you throw all the humidity in there, it feels like 115. And that's when we start really uh, suffering, uh, when we're working outside or playing outside. So check that backseat, parents. Everybody stay hydrated. Make sure the pets have shade and water. And don't forget to check the AC filters. I checked mine just yesterday and had to run to the uh, hardware store and got a couple of extras. No tropical development is expected in the next seven days from Africa to the Rio Grande Valley. Sort of a little lull. We are expecting the season to continue to increase next month. Don't forget it doesn't peak until September 10th. So this is us here, you know. It's gonna peak on September 10th, but we also have La Nina coming back and that allows for greater development. It doesn't inhibit development like El Nino does. So La Nina coming back in September and October means that we're going to have an increase activity in the season on the second half of the season. Seven day forecast rolls you through with a lot of heat, some dangerous heat in there as well. So be sure to take it easy. That's a look at your forecast.